page. Hello, Hello. morning, afternoon, evening, hola. We are Susu, our dogs, Boo and Buster, are, and that guy. Oh, man. Yeah, and Bonesy in the back uh, yeah, trying to play your keyboards. It, it, well, he's hard for him because he only has one hand. I uh, used to be able to play much better yeah, until I accidentally broke his hand off trying to put a puppet on it. I mean, that's an old stick, but it, it's true. I mean, you did you did do that. Well, it was an accident. Was it? So, guess what we're doing today? What are we doing? More Dan Vask. And okay. I love him. I think he's amazing. Yeah, he is amazing. But um, I was reading that he was very excited to meet and play with one of his first great influences, which was the band Petra, at least two members of it, playing a song of Petra's that is 30 years old. And um, as it was described to me, he got to sing this and do this with people that he had admired for so long and so they say you can tell by looking at his face how excited he is yep. and happy um i have to say a happy little song too though. i have to say i don't care no i'm not gonna say i don't care i don't know about petra uh i heard their name when i was a teenager and i was like yeah whatever metal christian sure whatever <laughs> um but so most people think so how did you hear about him Oh, well, after I became a Christian, I started working in a Christian bookstore that had, it was one of the big, biggest in town. I had a section, big section for books, Bibles, and then it had a section off to the side of music. And, and by the time I started working there, they'd been around for a while, mm -hmm. even then. I remember hearing about them in the 80s, um, and it, it, like you, it was like a, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But uh, they were hugely popular. Yeah, I was like, I'll get my Christian music at Mass every Sunday and then uh, <laughs> take care of the rest of the good stuff during the week. But Sister uh, Mary Elephant. Sister Mary Elephant was my uh, second grade teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, um, she's dead now anyway. Hail Mary, full of grace, help us win the stock car race. <laughs> you like that, don't you? Well, I've been raised Catholic, so when he said that the first time, I just thought... I read that in a book. I read that in a Stephen King book. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so this song is called Beyond Belief, and it has two members of Petra. Right. I John think all the other ones have been dead a while. John Schlitt and John Lowry. Okay. I don't know either of them. You recognize no, John, the name John Schlitt. Schlitt. Well, I, 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 he was the lead. When I started working at the bookstore... He was still the lead singer of Petra and all the original band, band members that were there. But I, I do think some of them are probably in Well, in some homes. of them might be dead or in homes. I mean, it's been a lot of years. I'm 61. I need to be at home. No. Anyway. Um, Why would you begrudge me home? Here we go ahead. Uh, Look at that huge mix board. Yeah. Let's get well, this let's up. get that up there. That's what, that's what she said. <laughs> He said, let's get that up. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Incorrigible. There it is. Okay. Look at this mixy board behind him. I mean, that's old school. Most of us done digitally now, but I like it how that just the way it looks. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to hit so. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready for you to shut the pie hole in your face. I'm ready. It's early here, by the way. Yeah, I have to do housework after one. this, so I'm trying to have yeah. fun. Hey, whoa. Hey, yeah, what's happening? What happened there? Hey. Okay, let's get going. Our people are anxiously awaiting. Yes. With baby breath. <laughs>
Bye. I guess that's it. Yep. Let me say something. Um, regardless of how, how you feel, I mean, and they're going to be. I know Hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Our ma uh, mouse has betrayed us this morning. We've got three, though. Yeah. Anyway, what were you going to say? Okay, let me, let, me, uh, yeah, let me get this off here. Hold on, Good guys. luck with that mouse. What the son it's, of a... I think it's a lot of it's just mouse pad. Um, could be your Display mom. Display capture. No, it's your mom. Okay. Okay. So, what I was going to say was, you know... On both of our channels, but I, I noticed on my channel some people kind of take except, except, exception to kind of the proselytizing nature of some of the stuff I've watched or some of the stuff we say. It's not terrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, but I, I think if people will take exception to it. But regardless of how you feel about that aspect of it, it's a good. It's a well-written song. Yeah, you know, I thought that it was going to be like one of those Christian songs that it's it, it feels good, but then it goes on and on. And instead of the beyond belief, they did have that in there, but they added a few really yeah. tasteful um, yeah. 
different kind of sounds in I, between. I feel like you could play that song right now and it would work. I don't know where you play it, I mean, because cause music is different, but still, it, that song, to me, that song holds up pretty well. Yeah, after 30 years, um, I just, uh, not knowing anything about them, it just was such a happy song. Yeah. The, their stuff back in the in the 80s and 90s was was different. I mean, it was it was uh, was it metal? It wasn't. It was Christian metal, so it wasn't. Right. But it was it st stood at the edge, looking over, but <laughs> didn't go over it. Yeah, yeah. So it was like uh, Megadeth and Slayer, and but maybe not Megadeth, but definitely Slayer and uh, all those hair metal bands that I don't remember the name because I didn't watch. I didn't listen to that back then. I didn't either, but I loved these um, two older gentlemen. I loved seeing them sing and play. Yeah, and um, the guitar nerd never saw his face. But, he played uh, bass and guitar. Did you know that? Yeah, he had a sound gear that looked a lot like a Ken Smith bass, and then the Charvel, of course, was gorgeous. Well, and I saw so many guitars in the rack behind yeah. him, and one of them looked like a flying V. Yeah. Probably was. I always want to say Flying J because that's the name of right. a gas <laughs> station <laughs> rest stop all around the United I States. Flying J guitar. And I like to stop at Flying J because they have clean bathrooms and they have good coffee. Yeah. And uh, so when we're taking a road trip, you know, Flying it's, it's J. It's a whole lot less likely that you'll be murdered at a Flying at J. At a Flying J, yeah. yeah. Uh, the thing about Murder. it is that, so when I say Flying V, it's just... Gibson Unnatural. Flying, Gibson Flying B, and it's such a unique looking guitar. It's just like it's, it's like really, the Explorers, like Fender Explorers. So very, very unique looking. Well, I think they're really cool looking, but I wonder if they'd be hard to play because of what, where your grip is. I uh, know, because, yeah. because the V goes past that. You're still playing in the right position. I mean, I may be very worried where you I don't know. I, mean, I don't play guitar and I don't play flying, but. Hey, next time we go to the music store, He's got one, sure. I'll let him, I mean, I'll ask if I can hold a flying V and get okay. my picture with it. Maybe he'll give it to you, like he gives you shit when no. you <laughs> Only if I show him my boobs. <laughs> I don't think you've ever had to show Bob, Bill your boobs. Sorry, Bill. You think I would get a guitar if I did that? I don't want a guitar anyway, but... <laughs> not, not for boob money. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying that, you know, he's seen boobs. He's an old man. Okay. Um, so, so, um, yeah, we digress greatly. I, I liked it. I thought it was good. It was, I thought it was well written. I thought it was well orchestrated yeah. and, and instrumented. So, um, but, but you know what? I'll know what I'm talking about with her. Um, take, take John Schlitt and cut his hair off. It would look like a juke Jim Colt. Oh, yeah, like a guy that we know. Yeah, that's true if he cut his hair shorter. Well, I really, uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it. I thought, I, you know, I always like Dan's voice, um, partial to it, but uh, so good. And uh, good if this was a extra special time for Dan to be able to meet and perform yeah. with some of today's yeah. uh, uh, Amer I mean, his American Idols, are they from America, Petra? American Idol worshippers? Yes. Uh, uh, Petra is from America. <laughs> We're not worthy. We're not worthy. That's from Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party time. Excellent. You can tell us it's early here. Okay, That's so gotta say. listen, guys, thank you for tuning in and hanging out and watching this with us. And uh, if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, comment down below. Let us know what you know about his relationship to these gentlemen. And he probably wasn't even born. How, yeah, how this collaboration occurred. And um, to share this with your friends, hit the notification bell to see uh, what we have coming out. We do all kinds of reactions. And uh, at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a subscribe and a uh, Hey, pal, uh, if you would like to join us, come on, subscribe. Come along with us. Come on. We have a lot of fun, don't we? We do. We yeah. have a lot of fun. Most of the time. And um, there's a PayPal donation to donate to our channel. We keep us right. up and running. And um, until we see you again, 
Be blessed. Don't hurt anybody. <laughs> this mouse, man. You got it, dude. Uh, no, I got it. I got it. Let me get it. I got it.